If you're trying to share your final project here in GarageBand, but you're running into problems, this is a video for you. I'm gonna run through some of the most common issues you're gonna have and how to solve them. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today. Now GarageBand here on the iPhone and iPad is one of my favorite platforms. And once you've created your song, you've come in here, you've added all your tracks, you've mixed down your song, it's time to export or share that song as a WAV file or a compressed M4A file. But this is where sometimes people run into trouble. So let's run through the most common problems you may have when you're sharing your song. The number one problem that I see folks have is instead of being in the Browse tab down here, they're in the Recent tab. This is a really easy thing to do. Now, what you'll notice is when you're in recent, you lose your select button in the top right corner. And that's really important because that's what we need to use to access our sharing options. So if you're seeing a view like this, all you need to do is come down the bottom here. Instead of being on recent, tap on browse and you'll come back to this view here. Then you can just hit the select button in the top right, select which project file you want to share. And then in the bottom left corner, you can tap on the share button. And now we can share it as a song, a ringtone, or a project. The second most common problem that I see folks come across is when they're here in the Files app trying to share instead of being in GarageBand because here we do have a select button. We can select, we can tap on share, but this time around we get this share sheet instead of our regular GarageBand share sheet. Now this is not going to help you share it as a project or a song file. This is just going to help you try and save or transfer it here in Files. So the key here is to make sure that you're actually in GarageBand. This one here with the orange GarageBand band logo, not the blue and white files app. It's a super simple thing to do because look how similar they look. They even show you your GarageBand project thumbnail and you can even open your GarageBand project from within files and it sends you over to GarageBand. So it's kind of a trap for new users here in GarageBand, but make sure that every time you're trying to share a project from GarageBand, you're not in files, but you're in the GarageBand app. The third problem, and this one's actually a bug in GarageBand at the moment here in January of 2020. And that is if we come in here and we share, and we share as a song file, whether it's an M4A or a WAV or AIF file, we can share our song here. Now you would think that all you need to do is hit save to files here, and this would save this file. We tap on that one, it says it's exporting the song, but I'll show you what it actually does if you choose that option. And then I'll show you a workaround that can help you get past this error. All right, that's done now. We'll just save it here in our GarageBand file transfer folder just for convenience. And now if we hit done in the top right corner, we tap on GarageBand file transfer. Where's that file? Well, it's here. But look, it's, it's grayed out. We can't actually access it. Now you think, oh, okay, we're in GarageBand. So that makes sense. Let's go to our files app and we should be able to view it over here. Yeah. Nah, we can't. It looks like it's a WAV file. It acts like it's a WAV file, but look, it's 1.33 gigabytes. It's not actually a WAV file. It's a weird container for this WAV file. How do we fix this? Let's show you that now. So once again, we'll make sure we're in GarageBand here. We'll tap the select button. We'll select our file. We'll hit the share button in the bottom left and we'll tap on song. We want uncompressed WAV 44.124 bit and we'll tap on share. This time, instead of using save to files, we want to tap on open in. And this is just the intermediary step that is going to solve this current bug. So if you're having this problem, hit the open in button. We'll wait for it once again to export this song and then I'll show you what we need to do next. So that's looking better now. You can see at the top here, it now says audio recording 38.9 megabytes, which is the size that we should be seeing here. If we now tap on the save to files, once again, we save in that GarageBand file transfer folder. It is now done. We'll hit the done button here. We'll switch back over to our files app, jump into GarageBand file transfer, and there you go. We actually have this imagination. Where is it? It's this one down here. I've got many copies of this now, but you can see there, it's actually made a copy. The other thing you'll notice is it's actually given us two. So both of these are today at 1.17 p.m., today at 1.17 p.m. So part of this current bug or glitch is that you not only get one copy, you get two for the price of one. So if you use the open in and then save to files, it will resolve that problem. And then all you need to do is select and delete one of these versions. And then you're left with your one copy of your WAV or your M4A file ready to use. And now that we have our final file exported here, ready to go, we can jump out, we can hit play. In my back to the days when I was a little kid. 
and we're ready to go. We can now use this file by sending it to iMovie and editing a video or releasing it using a distributor like a Muse or DistroKid. There's a bunch of things you can do. And in fact, there are two videos showing you what you can do with your final file now that you've shared it linked down below. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you next time.